Meanwhile, Israel's interim Prime Minister Yar Lapid is set to convene his very first cabinet meeting. This comes after he took power on the 30th of June. Now, the interim Prime Minister made his very first televised address to the nation where he warned the enemies of the state of Israel against attacking the country. Now, the interim Prime Minister also denounced the extreme, violent and vicious discourse in the Israeli politics during his first televised address. And this was a dig at Benjamin Netanyahu, who's been leading a pretty scathing campaign against the coalition since he was ousted from power. Lapid urged unity and respectful public debate in the country. The Prime Minister also highlighted that Israel wanted peace with the Palestinians, but also issued a warning to anyone that wanted the country's demise. Israel moshita yada lechol ame ha-mizrach ha-tichon, kolel ha-Palestini, v'omeret, הגיע הזמן שתכירו בכך שלעולם לא נזוז מפה, אז בואו נלמד לחיות יחד. Now, additionally, Lapid also paid tribute to quote unquote the Israel's greatest ally, the United States of America, and promised to harness the global community in the fight against the trivialization of Israel. The Lapid also interestingly spoke about Iran and said that the country was one of Israel's crucial threats, adding that the state of Israel must do everything that it can in order to prevent Iran from acquiring nuclear abilities and prevent the country from encroaching into Israeli borders. Now, the interim prime minister spoke about the potential deal similar to the Abraham Accords with other Arab nations, saying that such economic and security deals were a blessing for the country. The Lapid has replaced Naftali Bennett on the 1st of July and become and became Israel's 14th premier following the dissolution of the Knesset. The government formed by a coalition of the ideologically diverse parties collapsed just over a year after it was formed. The coalition had ousted the long-time leader Benjamin Netanyahu after 12 years in power. However, they had, a wit they had witnessed a lot of bickering ever since. The motion to dissolve the Knesset passed with 92 lawmakers in favor and none against. And this came after days of dispute over the date of new elections over last-minute legislation. New elections will be held on the 1st of November. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.